and welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons Tree of Towns. Alright, we got ourselves some Lulu Coco events to see, so let's go to bed. So I believe the only one left for Lulu Coco is the... Which one is it? Oh, right, the recipe one. Let's go help Luca with the recipe. Also, it's raining today. That's fine. Alright, yeah, we might as well go help her out with the recipe. What do we give her again? I, it, yeah, it just completely slipped my mind what we actually gave her as ingredients. Oh, wait, I remember now. It was turnips, daikon, and... Oh, what was the third crop that I... Eh, I'm sure I'll remember it once I actually see the dish. Alright. Oh, okay. For once, we don't actually get to taste test it. Well, I guess Saluka is our wife, so we might as well help her out. That being said, we're not exactly the best cook ourselves. I think I'm a level 2 cook at this point. I really have not done a whole lot of cooking. Also, apparently, yeah, we didn't help that. Whoops. Also, it's kind of impressive that we're cooking with no actual stove or anything, huh? Actually, yeah, how do they cook? Actually, no, I guess the most of the dishes they serve are like drinks and cold stuff. Either way, what did we make? Sure. I hope it came out right this time. Yep, came out right. It always comes out right the second time. Okay, to be fair, yeah, we're kind of a novice at cooking. So I'm just gonna let that one slide. But yeah, I don't remember what dish we actually made. Maybe I'll stop by later and see what it is. Actually, we're probably gonna get the recipe for it, aren't we? Yep, there's the recipe. Oh, we made pho. Pho. I... I've never been 100% sure how to pronounce that properly. Oh, okay. Wait, why did we need the radish and the daikon? Oh, rice flour was the third option, or the third ingredient we gave them. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I mean, yeah, I guess it is. I don't know if it's actually that difficult to make. Probably to make well. Also, yeah, it's raining today. Hi, Hank. Let's head out. So I do want to pretty much kill the rest of the day today, simply because, uh, there's one more event from Lulu Coco that we need to see. And that is their final event, the one that pretty much celebrates the fact that we got them to S rank. Man, everything is S rank now. So happy that I kind of got done early. Anyways, let's go check on the animals. Ooh, we need to clean up in here. Guess I haven't been in here for a little while. Oh, yeah, I guess I haven't been in here for a while. Is that all of them? Nope, one more. Alright, I think that's all of them. And yeah, I guess everyone should pro- Yeah, everyone wants a brushing. Alright, we'll take care of them in a second. Uh, first things first, though. Yeah, you're completely out of fodder. Let's get you nice and big, even though there's not really a point in doing that anymore. Actually, let me just check on something real quick. Is anyone super stressed out? You're kind of stressed out. Ooh, you're stressed out, you're stressed out. Everyone else is okay, though. Chickens are okay. Chickens are always okay. I don't think I've ever actually seen a chicken super stressed out enough to get sick before. Well, unless I just left out in the rain or something. But yeah, chickens are always good. They're super easy to take care of. In exchange for not really making as much money as cows. Or sheep. Or any other type of real big livestock. Anyways, let's get some brushing done. Oop. Let's get that stress away so no one gets sick again. Oh, and you need, need to be sheared. That's right. I will grab that in a second. And by second, I mean right now. I also kind of... Oh, wait. Do I want to go mining today? Oh, when was the last time I went mining? 
It's been a little while. You know what? I think I'm just gonna wait a few days. It's not like I need- Okay, yeah, I need to clean up in here, too. It's not like I need anything super important in the mines. Also, I forgot to grab the eggs yesterday. Whoops. That's fine. Uh, where's Mayo? I do want to grab some more velvety treats at some point, though. But yeah, I think I'll wait another couple of days before going mining again. I just need a couple of Peridots. Actually, I think I need, like, one more. Also, is everyone- Oh- Oh, wait, am I completely out? I am completely out of chicken feed. Do I have any in storage? No. Well, I need to go buy chicken feed. What time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock. Uh, West Town should be open soon. I guess I'll just swing by there and maybe get some chicken feed real quick. And maybe check the mining spots. Oh, hey, mushrooms are done. Oh, common mushroom. Maybe I should just... Oh, I think they just ran out. Yeah, maybe I'll wait a few days before grabbing those. Anything else done yet? Nope. Alright. But yeah, I'll come back and finish taking- Ooh, my pearls are done, but... Don't really want to take the time to harvest them right now. Maybe I'll do that off-screen, because it takes forever to restock all the pearls. But yeah, like I said, I want to stop by West Town and grab some chicken feed before finishing up with the animals. Actually, I could also just go see... Eh, yeah, let's go to West Town. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, it is already the 25th of fall, so yeah. Winter is coming really soon, actually. Winter, the very last season of the LP. Also, yeah, we can, we can still do part-time jobs, but... There is not really a point in doing them anymore. We can't increase the uh, town ranks any further, and honestly, the money just isn't worth the time. But yeah, man, I forgot that winter was already, like, super close. Also, I don't... Yeah, I'm just gonna buy 99 of them so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Actually, wait, while I'm here, let's also grab velvety treats. There we go. Alright, I'm good. But yeah, winter is almost here. It feels like last winter was just like yesterday. Okay, yeah, this was a bad idea. I guess I'll just do the rest of the spots tomorrow or something, or the day after. Also, my bag is full again. I'll come back for that. It's not like anyone's gonna take it. But yeah, let's head back home. Actually, no, before we go home, what day is it? Today's Sunday? I could go grab some food from, uh, Suikusa real quick. Not Su- uh, Lulu Coco real quick. I want to see what buffs are on that new dish we unlocked. So far, all of the final dishes have been pretty good. Actually, wait. Have I tried the one we unlocked? Wait, did we unlock one for Su No, wait, no, we didn't. Uh, can I take a look at what my rings? No, I couldn't. No, I don't think we unlocked a new dish for them. We unlocked the, uh, Baz. Also, what? Oh, right, bait. Anyways, let's try some new food. Oh wait, that's right, it's not unlocked until tomorrow. Darn. Oh well. Uh... What would be good for now? Honestly, none of these buffs are good for farm work. They're good for socializing, but not for farm work. Well, I guess I'll have a Kiwi Grape Shake. That does not sound right. Eh, oh wait, actually fully uh, restored my stamina. Perfect. I'm still gonna leave that bait there. But yeah, let's head back home. Time to go finish up with the animals, and then, oh, I need to check on my summer crops. And then pretty much just kill time until the afternoon. Maybe I'll go stop by uh, Syracuse and grab a bath. That might be nice. Also, yeah, I forgot I don't have any backspace. One second. I'm just gonna throw everything I have in here. My melons are looking good. My watermelons are also looking good. My strawberries are almost perfect. They just need juiciness and size. And then it, I'm ready to basically just spread an entire field of strawberries. Uh, sweet potatoes. I can get rid of those. Eggplants. Oh, I guess I forgot to sell these yesterday. Whoops. I don't need the sunflowers anymore, but I kind of want to keep them. 
Honestly, I don't need half the stuff I have in my backpack anymore. Actually, honestly, I don't need anything in my backpack anymore, huh? Now that I've pretty much completely finished all the main story quests, there's not really a point in keeping any of the things that I've been saving in my backpack. I still can't bear to throw them away- and by throw them away, I mean sell them. I still can't bear to sell them, though. I tend to be a hoarder, if you haven't noticed. Anyways, I think everyone else has food. No, you don't have any food. You don't have any food either. There we go. Alright, let's go check on the rest of the animals. Gotta make sure everyone gets a good brushing today, just because they're kind of stressed out for some reason. Yeah, it feels like some of the later game animals get stressed out a lot easier than the early game ones. I guess it's just because they're it's supposed to make them harder to take care of, but... It's not really that hard to take care of them, just make sure you just brush them every once in a while. And have a pet that can just bring them outside. Of course, I did actually get an animal sick once, so... I still don't know how that happened so quickly. Like, I'm pretty sure when my uh, llama got sick, he was perfectly fine the night before. But just overnight his stress just skyrocketed and he got sick. Did he get left outside? I mean, he might, he might have gotten left outside or something in the rain, but I don't think so. You know what? It doesn't matter anymore. No one's sick. Everyone does need a good brushing and a cleaning, though. Oh, what? There we go. Alright, doo-doo's cleaned up. Who's next? Oh, is this my rabbit? Yeah, that's my rabbit. Hi, bunny. Oh, you actually don't need a brushing. Well, you could probably use a brushing, but I think I'll wait on that. I tend not to really do a brushing unless it says they would like a brushing. Because that usually indicates that they're kind of stressed out at the moment. I think. At least that's what my experience has been so far. Also, you need food. Grabbing that milk. And yeah, you also need food. Oop, no, not, nor uh, not normal fodder. I bought all this sweet fodder for a reason. I'm gonna use it. Uh, you're good. Man, it's still hard to see you guys against like the brown backdrop. I don't know if that was a design per on purpose or it was an accident. How quills, like, literally blend in with the floor. Uh, you actually have food. Good for you. I will clean up that doo-doo that you're sitting in, though. Probably not the best place to sit. Alright, let's go check on the cellar. Oh, and tomorrow's also the fruit fiesta. I don't need any specific fruit, but I guess I'll go participate anyways. Go around giving people fruit. Actually, what fruit do I have on me? Do I have anything uh, quicker? Oh, I have strawberries. Perfect. Strawberries count as fruit in this game, right? They should. They're fruit. But then again, some Harvest Moon games just have kind of weird definitions on what they consider a fruit or not. Like, in this game, almonds are considered fruit. Also, am I out of water? Uh, almost. Should be enough for this one. Shame I don't have any almonds, though. Oh well. But yeah, Fruit Fiesta. I'm not looking for any specific type of fruit this year, and... Honestly, everyone's already kind of... As friendly as they'll ever be with me, so... I guess I'll just go and give some people fruit, get some fruit in return, and then call it a day. Or call it a fiesta. Okay, yeah, uh... You know what, I have enough stamina to do one more thing. I don't want to pass out, though. Because, like I said, I still need to see that Lulu Coco event. Also, it might be a bit too late to go take a bath. What time is it? 3 o'clock? I forget what time the bathhouse closes. I think it closes at 4, maybe? 
Either way, I'm gonna go head over there real quick. It'd be a good way to also restore some stamina. Also, yeah, I never really did much with my new dog, did I? Maybe we'll take him for a walk at some point. Her. What did I name it again? Oh, I named it Connie. Her. Maybe we'll take her for a walk at some point. Man, it's not raining anywhere except for at the farm. Uh, but let me see if the bathhouse is still open. I kind of hope it is. Oh, perfect. Uh, what do we want? Deluxe spring? Yeah, let's just do deluxe spring. Uh, what is it today? Oh, okay. Two hours? Perfect. So by the time we get out, it'll be like around 5.30. Yep, about 5.30. Let's head home. Should be late enough to actually trigger the event. Oh, but it is rainy today. I don't remember if that actually affects it or not. I don't think it does because it's sunny in Lumukoko. Alright, let's go inside the house. Oh, did I remember? I think I remembered. No, wait, no, I didn't throw everything in the shipping box yet. Whoops. Eh, I'll do it tomorrow. There we go. So, yeah. Final... I think this is actually the final event we're pretty much going to see that isn't, like, festival related. Unless I missed a couple of friendship events. Oh, and family. Okay, yeah, actually, there are a couple of events that I can still see. There's still the family events and the familiar events. But yeah, time to head over to Lulu Coco. Wonder what would happen if you just said no to her. After you worked so hard to get into everyone's good graces, you just refuse to go to a celebration for yourself. Also, yeah, the five generic characters are front and center. But everybody's here. Wait. Okay, mostly everyone's here. Wolfio isn't here, but DLC characters. It feels like someone's missing, though, but no, I think everyone's here. Yeah, everyone is here. But yep, final feast. Man, Lulu Coco. I like Lulu Coco design-wise in terms of the tropical environment, but in terms of actual like usability compared to the other two towns, it's kind of really lacking. Well, also we married one of the residents, so the characters are fine. Also, I do like the characters of Lulu Coco, but yeah, in terms of actual usability, other than Ludus, which is like super important, obviously, but the other shops aren't really that important. I mean, I guess you need to buy, like, seeds from them for trees. They are the ultimate tree town, but other than that, there's not much you really need to buy from here. Like, honestly, it would have all been fit The whole uh, variety of shops would have been fixed if they had, like, an animal shelter. Not animal shelter. Animal shop. Oh, well. Still, I like Lulu Coco. I like all the towns in this game. I do wish they were bigger, though. It is kind of obvious that they're only two screens big. But yeah, now we're an honorary citizen of Lulu Coco. So what, we're now... Actually... What were we a resident of beforehand? I guess now we're a tri... What's the word for that? Well, whatever. We have citizenship in three areas. And, yep, we got ourselves another bouquet. Oh, wait, do I have... No, I do have inventory space now. But with that, the main story... Well, quote-unquote storyline. The main story of Trio of Towns is finished. After this, it's all going to be events and... No, it's pretty much going to be all events and uh, festivals. 
Speaking of festivals, yeah, Fruit Fiesta's tomorrow. Oh, I need to remember to do something for Luca and Saluka's birthday. Because we're married to one of them. Harvest Festival, that's when our broccoli is going to be awesome. And the Pumpkin Jamboree. Wow, there are actually a lot of things to do at the end of the season, huh? But yeah, for the most part, our daily farm life is going to be mostly off-screen. I say mostly because some of these events happen at night, so I have to do the uh, daily farm life beforehand. But we'll see. Also, yeah, I need to try out that new item at the... Uh, what is it? I almost got it at the coffee shop. At the sea shop, Seaside... Actually, I don't know the name of the restaurant now that I think about it. I know it was just on that letter, but I always just called it the snack bar. But yeah, fruit fiesta time. Let's give away some fruit. Who wants a strawberry? Also, I'm pretty sure that's my fish trap that I left here. Uh, what is... Wait, what was that? I don't know what he just gave me. Oh, he gave me almonds. Okay, perfect. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is mine. Oh, it was just a coin. Never mind. But yeah, it's still a bit early, so no one's open yet. Oh, I also remembered one other thing. Don't we have a tablet being deciphered? Oh yeah, we did have a tablet being deciphered. Well, let's see what I need to bring. I don't remember what I needed for this tablet, so... Hopefully it's something I can actually access right now. Uh... Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I don't think I can... I don't think I can get this one. It's Starfruit. Oh, do I? I don't have star fruit, do I? I don't think I had a star fruit tree on the farm. Darn it! Actually, wait. Do they sell star fruit at the shop? I don't think they do. Oh, our tablet quest might have just ended there. Wait. I know where I can get star fruit. Oh, I just remembered what day it is. Oh wait, never mind. It's right here. Okay, never mind. I was gonna see if I can trade myself some star fruit, but that was easy. Yeah, I kind of forgot they sold star fruit here. Well, let's go turn it in. Man, I was kind of hoping I would have to try to actually get star fruit from trading. Oh well. Anyways, here's the answer. So yeah, pieces could illuminate the night, the uh, darkest night. Stars. Thus, star fruit. Although I'm not sure if the pieces will actually no. That's why it's called star fruit. Because if you cut it like vertically, it makes like a star shape. Yeah, no matter how many times you say that, I'm not gonna join you. Alright, same ceremony as always. Probably just gonna be skipping through the text relatively quickly for this one. Because I don't think the text ever actually changes for any of these. It's always the exact same. Put it on the altar at the exact same time, and then they run into the room and grab stuff. You know, one of these days I wish we could actually just run in there before them and actually see what's in there. I still think these two would make an awesome, like, pair of thieves. I mean, they can loot a place in, like, seconds.
All right, so let's go see what our prize is for this one. And I guess I should probably stop by their uh, house later again. I need to get the clue for the next piece. I think the next piece is another festival related one, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's a recipe. It's an ancient recipe for Tom Young. Okay, well, actually that recipe is kind of ancient-ish. Well, we can make some Tom Yum at some point. Not right now, though, because I don't think I have the ingredients for that. Actually, I don't think I have the ingredients for a lot of things. Maybe I'll check it out when I get home. But yep, uh, let's give away a couple more pieces of fruit before heading back. Alright, what do we get in return? I don't know because the pilgrim was in the way. Well, it doesn't really matter. Here, Tigray, you can have some too. Ooh, melon. Melons are good. Oh, I also do want to stop by the restaurant real quick. I want to try out that new dish and see what buffs are on it. Also, I forgot there was bait there too. Man, I just keep throwing bait all over the place around here. Oh, also, I think our last piece of fruit should go to uh, our wife. She'll probably appreciate, you know, participating in the festival considering it's her hometown. Oh, I, I probably should have given her something better. Oh, well. What'd she give me? I think she gave me cranberries. Alright, so I think this is the last new dish that we haven't tried before. At least in terms of restaurant foods. Wait. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's see what buffs I get. It's only 800 gold, so probably not going to be the best in terms of buffs. Also, I have no idea. Oh, actually, money buff. Well, not bad. I have no idea how good it is in terms of stamina restoration, though, because kind of came here with here with a uh, full stamina. All right. Well, that was a fruit fiesta. Oh, our uh, Mithra. And okay, they are still home. Let me go get the clue for the next piece, and then I'll head back. I want to check out those new recipes we got, and then probably call it an episode there. All right. About the next engraving. Oh. Oh, perfect timing. Okay, yeah, that's perfect timing. I'm gonna win it at... It's on Friday, right? Okay, I'm gonna win that on Friday's festival. So once I get that tablet to them, I can see what that one is. After this, I'm pretty much running blind in terms of what I need for the tablets. And I don't want to look it up. I want to see if I can figure out all the riddles myself. None of them are really that hard from what I've seen so far. Anyways. I'm gonna go check out the recipes and then probably call an episode there. Oh, and also, uh, Pippi's birthday is pretty soon, isn't it? She was born on, what, the very last day of spring? Yeah, so 30 days after that would be... Sunday. Or not Sunday, Saturday. Alright. Alright, so new dishes. I think it would be under pot dishes. Uh, should be around here somewhere. Is it not here? Oh, it might be under rice dishes, actually. Oh, no, it might be under soups. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So, yeah, I am just missing cabbages for this one. Okay. And, yeah, there's the, uh, Tom Young Goon. Shrimp and mushrooms. Well, I'm never making that, apparently. Actually, I have plenty of mushrooms. I just need to buy shrimp. That being said, that soup should have a lot more ingredients than that, but, oh well. Anyways, with that, I'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Story Season 3 of Towns, St. Luca's birthday. So, till then.